And welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter is Ali LaForce. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see where everyone in the league stands. They're building some momentum right now and aiming for a spot in the top five. You know, right now for the visiting team, they haven't been impressive and they have no one but themselves to blame. Hopefully, they can start to turn it around soon. Now the starting group for the visitors. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, Grant, and we all want to know, what's the first piece of food you're reaching for at the Thanksgiving table? Oh, man, you're so nosy, B.A. <laughs> but, of course, the easy answer is to say the turkey. Uh, but for me, it's, it's the stuffing. Uh, I'm going for that. I mean, I have to have the mashed potatoes, too, uh, the cranberry sauce, the macaroni and cheese. Uh, you know what? Everything. Very nice. Puts the move on, and there's the whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your home team, number 10. No good on the free throw. Second free throw, no good. Now Hernan Gomez. Off target from three-point range. Shot clock at five. There's Howard with the three. Knocks down the triple. He's consistent from out there, especially when you give him that kind of room. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First one falls for him. Juan Hernan Gomez. Two shots. That one goes in. Two from the line that time. And we're about a minute into the first. From downtown. No good. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. First minute and a half of basketball played here in this one. The shot by Howard, no good. To the inside. And the layup is good off the glass. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense not there. Now, here is Howard. In his last outing, 10 points for him. And the first quarter of action, two minutes in. From the top of the key, jump shot is good. A minute 58 left to play in the first. Five to shoot. Oh, he can't stop the run as that misses. Fires it from 18. And can't get it to go. Now one of two. Gone one of five to start things off. Knocked away. And here's Hernan Gomez. We saw him with 11 points in his last game. Good on the bucket. <laughs> I just love the ball move. Home team. Both teams deciding to change it up. While we have a moment, let's check out the highest scoring teams in the league last season. Boy, they do an excellent job offensively. Most of the season last year, they were really in sync. 
a nice flow and rhythm to their offensive game. But anytime you score the points they did, it's about unselfishness and trusting each other. Now, here is Howard. Goes up on the baseline. And he can't get that one. For Athens, they've gone four of six in the first quarter. Hey, expanding his range. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. That's a move you won't see many guys make. Impressive stuff. For Athens, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Howard against Grant. Here's the three. Doesn't go for him. Gone two for seven. A sluggish start. Just one second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Pass to Howard. Athens foul. Substitution on the court. We've got 13 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Mannion. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Tough miss, especially since the defense wasn't that strong. I mean, he needs to cash in from there. With one on the clock. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. They lead by eight. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, clearly, they played well in the first period because of their selfless attitude. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Basket's good. Well, Clark, with teams playing at such a fast pace now, it's often a choice between transition defense and offensive rebound. I think that's somewhat true. I think that was always a choice, but even more so today. I think you're right, Brian, because teams now are playing typically at a faster pace. I always value the ability to get second shots. I think you can balance the floor defensively, but I think rebounding on the offensive end still has to be part of how you attack, especially if you've got guys that are good offensive rebounders. Good work there as it goes. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Back to Grant. Launches a three. Drains the triple. Grant's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. In order to create effective spacing, you need enough guys on the floor that can hit from downtown. Mannion, no good. And so Grant will bring it up for Athens. For a team with their talent, it's a bit surprising how poorly they played in this matchup last year. And guys, they suffered a clean sweep, and for one of the best teams in the league, that cannot sit well. You know they'll come to play tonight. Mannion, no good. For Athens, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Brian, among the new trophies introduced last year, no doubt the Michael Jordan trophy given to the league MVP is the most distinctive. And while its design elements honor aspects of Jordan's great career, he asked that the trophy not be fashioned in his likeness. Instead, Brian, the hope is for each recipient to be able to see themselves in the award. All right, Ali, love that. Thanks. Six on the shot clock. And the first shot of the night for him. Missing. Anadokounmpo outside. Maneki with a rebound. Shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. Inside. Here's Mannion. Anadokounmpo covering. To the middle. Second chance effort. And the layup is good. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. Substitution on the court. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. 
Bill Doza passes to Graham. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Shoots from 12. That shot, no good. Gone three for seven here in the second quarter. Pass to Jop. It's rebounded by Grant. Athens shooting around 29% in quarter number two. Hernan Gomez gets the bucket. Good heads up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. So it's the home team now. They trail by nine. And their body language was unimpressive. They looked defeated much of the night. And because of it, they took the L. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off, distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Not the tallest center in the league. He more than makes up for it with those crazy hops. Got four of their first nine shots to go here in the second. Takes a 13-footer. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Hernan Gomez has got five rebounds tonight. No good. Three for seven shooting so far. Pass to Howard. From deep. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Hernan Gomez has got six rebounds in the game. Up in time. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And so it's Athens with a nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Defense is setting the tone. We'll be right back. Welcome to halftime. And after two quarters played, some ground to make up. They were one-dimensional on offense. All perimeter. They didn't get anything going down low. They didn't even try to do it. It's that. And moving along now, let's take a look at some upcoming matchups. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. And we've got third quarter basketball here. Two quarters in the books. Athens shooting at a decent clip. 45% for the game. Pass to Vildoza. Can't get it to fall. Well, we talk about the value of great rim protection. That's a shot he typically makes. From nine feet. That's good on the jumper. He has six. The visitors with the ball. They've led by as much as 10. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. Hernan Gomez on the wing. Nails it from beyond the arc. An elite score, demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. And there's the drive. And a missed layup. Out left to the wing. Here's Vildoza. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup. Give him a little bump. And then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. So he hits one of two from the strike. Shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Can't hit from the corner. Here's Hernan Gomez. He's got seven. Howard grabs the miss. And we're about a minute and a half in the second half. Uncovered. Hernan Gomez with a rebound. Hernan Gomez has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Here's Vildoza. That one a little long. Far from an ideal start here. I mean, this half just one for four so far. Now, here is Howard. Tightly guarded. The rebound by Vildoza. 
clearly out of rhythm now, guys. I mean, just one for five to begin the second half. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 157 left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Here's Hernan Gomez. Yep, count it. Hernan Gomez has got his third bucket of the night. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous time crossover. Out, out. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And let's take this time to bring up the list of last season's elite shot blocking teams. They've got a number of guys that can deny you when you take that ball inside. That's why they're one of the best shot blocking teams in the league. At least they were last year because they worked well together and they made it a priority. Driving inside. The shot comes out. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. Bildoza gets the bucket. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Gone only one for six here in the second half. Pass to Howard, to the paint. And he banks in the layup. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. And so Grant will bring it up for Athens. It's a 13-point game. Bildoza passes to Hernan Gomez. Tries again. And it's good on the layup. Give him eight points now. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Boy, the defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. And they're on the run. And here's Grant from the arc. He drops it from range. Grant's got six points. Boy, and the defense there looking lost on that play. Gotten only two of seven shots to go in the third quarter. Up and in on the layup. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Two points. That one goes. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, hey, they've been clearly the better team. Knocked loose. Down low. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Here's Jop. Sinks that one from the post. Jop's gotten his first bucket of the night. And so it's Athens. A sizable 18-point lead at the end of the period. They're getting quality looks, and that's why they're shooting at such a high clip. Back to the game after this break. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm Assist of the Game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works. Or if it's more of the same for the first three quarters. The shot misses. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Off target with the three. Shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Here's Mannion. And the shot goes. Boy, you love how guys are making plays for one another here. Yeah, just a balanced attack, a total team effort. And here's Grant from the arc. The shot, no good. Gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts in the fourth. 16 feet out. Offensive rebound. Uses the glass on the layup. That kind of energy and hustle on the glass usually produces good results. So both teams changing it up here. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. 
Hi, guys. The head coach for Athens had some instructions for his guys during the break. He said, keep it going, guys. Ride this wave of momentum. We're playing great right now, but we can't let up. Guys, back to you. All right. Appreciate it, Allie. And they pick up two. Once he saw the smaller defender guarding him, he took it right to the rack. There's the three. He can't get that one to fall. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Misses the jumper from the wing. Gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. Howard with the ball. They set the screen. He takes it in. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Second personal foul, first team foul. At the line. And that one falls for Howard. Howard, two shots. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. To the paint. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Well, Grant, you had to guard some of the greats in your career, including Jordan, Kobe, LeBron. Who was the toughest to cover? Well, for the record, I didn't really like guarding any of them, if I'm being honest. But no one, in my opinion, tops Michael Jordan. Of course, I had to guard Kobe the most, and he was very relentless, had no weaknesses. And, you know, I was in my late 30s on one ankle, but he was counting. We've got 155 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Five on the clock. Offline from the top of the key. Athens shooting at a respectable 49%. Knocks it loose. Little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Four three. Oh my! Came close to a four point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Ooh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always, especially on the three point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you give a guy three free throws. And he nails the third. And if you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Another shot. Goes up again. Can't capitalize inside. Might like a do over there. Quality look inside. Misses in close. Howard's gotten only two of his eight attempts from the floor. 19-footer. Howard grabs the miss. Comes up empty down low. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Defense is right there. 35 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Puts it up from 15. The layup off target. There's 21 seconds left to play in the fourth. Takes a step back. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Let's the three fly. And no good. The visiting club takes the win on the road. The they have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the wins can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for...